Good morning students. How are you? Hope you all are fine. Have you completed yesterday's three questions? Dear students, please do your homework every day and learn those questions by heart so that by the time you reopen your school and have your exams, you will have learned everything by heart. Yesterday we saw about the art of Indian artisans and in that the art clay work. And I had given you the question about it. Today we are going to see about the art of weaving. The art of weaving. Now what is this art of weaving? Weaving is not a new word to you. Today we are going to see in this there is also hand weaving. We will also see the next about the art of embroidery. But in the art of weaving, first we have to learn about what is spinning. And so as we start, I want you to open a bracket to the first sentence itself. The art of making long threads using small pieces of cotton from cotton balls, that is swap, and joining them together is called art of spinning. So students, what is art of spinning? That is the art of making threads using the pieces of cotton from cotton balls, big swap, okay? And joining them together is called art of spinning. We all know that Gandhiji has given it a special importance as a cottage industry and joined it with Swadeshi to make us self-reliant under the banner of freedom movement which has created a new history. Now, students, you saw over here, we all know that Gandhiji has given us a special importance as the cottage industry. What is that cottage industry? What do you understand by cottage industry? Cottage industry is also home-based industry. And uh, cottage-based industry will have a lot of competition in the market where companies, big, big companies produce their product. Now, this also what who Gandhiji has started this, also to have a Swadeshi movement which we have seen last year in Nine Standard, which has created a new history in this art of weaving. What about hand weaving? Since ancient time, India is known for its textile know-how. It is well known that the whole piece of cloth of a particular size which we call as a dhaka, of fine muslin of dhaka could easily pass through a ring and could be adjusted in a match box. Children, see the type of material. What is it? Since ancient time we know that it has importance and that how it is that a piece of cloth of particular size, however big it is a dhaka, what we call, okay, of fine muslin, which we saw last year, we saw why the Britishers were attracted to India and Muslim was one among them. What they wanted to carry with them, which had a lot of demand in outside market. And so, of Dhaka could easily pass through a ring and could be adjusted in a matchbox. See the quality of a material, which could pass through a ring and after holding, it could go into the matchbox. How small the matchbox is. And once you are wearing the ring, you know how much place is left. And whatever big piece of the taga, taka, it would, it would go through the ring. Moreover, carpet, that is galicha, of several regions, knitting work on attire, attires and artistry, etc., occupied a prominent place. It took an important place. And what is the students? I wanted to underline carpet that is galicha of several regions, knitting work on attires, the type of clothes and artistry etc. occupied a prominent place, important place. Amongst them, patola of pattern, kanjivaram and banarasi saris, bandhani of Rajasthan are unique identity of India. I wanted to make a bracket to this, amongst them till identity of India. Among them, what is the unique identity students? Patola, famous of Patan, Kanjivaram and Banarasi Saris, Bandhani of Rajasthan. 
has a unique identity of India. Students, you know, this type of clothes, if you ask your uh, mama or if you are girls or not, you know, even the type of clothes that is uh, bandhani, if you go to see, you feel very comfortable that material. Banarasi sarees, kanjivaram, which your mothers will have. Okay, and so students, it has a unique identity. Bandhani, famous of Rajasthan and Patola is famous of Patan. Remember these names. During the golden period of Solanki era, underline Solanki, Solanki era, Gujarat has progressed in this field. In what student, which field? Field of hand weaving art. During the reign of Siddhara Jai Singh, many artisans, that is weavers, came and settled in Patan. The Patolas of Patan became well famous due to their skills. The Patolas of Patan became well famous. And students, why did they become well famous? Because of the skills of the artisans. Which are the artisans? Weavers. This art of Patan is more than 850 years old. Now this art of Patan. Patan's art is of what making students? Patola making. It's old more than 850 years old. Only handful of artisans have the skill for such a complicated and time-consuming art. Students, it is very complicated. It is also time-consuming art. And all are not talented. There are only very few who are talented in this art. The silkware, which is given in the bracket, bevered ikat, produced in pattern, is called patola of pattern. Underline the student sentence. The silkware, that is bevered ikat, produced in pattern, is called patola of pattern. Ikat means weaving. Students, ikat the word now in the market and all when you sometimes, uh, including me, when I also go to buy the dress pieces and all, I may ask them, do you have ikat? Because that material is different. It is also very comfortable when you wear. This type of sari is designed in such a manner that it can be worn on either side. The saris of ikat, they can be worn either side. Both the sides you can wear. This type of patola variety has a good durability and its original color remains intact. Why I say students, it is uh, also comfortable enough. Students, the original color, color, the color doesn't fade away. Where there are some other clothes, the color fades away. In one to washing, you see the quality of material differs. But it cut remains as it is. Intact as it is remains. Okay, there is a saying in the same reference, Padi patoye bhaat fate pan fite nahi. Students, in English it is, the design laid down in patola shall never fade even if the cloth may be torn. Even the cloth is torn. It has become old and torn. But students, the design what is there on the patola will never fade away. The color will not fade away. So that is about ikat, hand weaving. And in hand weaving, students, I want you to remember first point is that about the spinning. And then you will start writing about how ancient time textile is known. That is especially about the muslin of Dhaka which is famous. Then also you will write about uh, Patola of Patan, Kanjivaram and Banarasi Saris. Bandhani of Rajasthan, which has the unique identity. Okay. After writing this, you also will have to write about the carpet. You also will write about the weavers, their skill, about pattern, how pattern is famous for Patola. In that, you will have to mention about ikat. And then, how the color, the quality of the cloth. Let's go to the art of embroidery. Let's go to the art of embroidery. The work of embroidery can be seen on the clothes of the idols and the statues which were found during the excavation of Harappa and Mohanjadaro. Students, make a bracket to this sentence. The work of embroidery can be seen on the clothes of the idols and the statues which were found during the excavation of Harappa and Mohanjadaro. We know that Harappa and Mohanjadaro, they were the excavated sign including, sites including Lothal, which we are going to study in the next lesson. 
And students, where is that design has been found on which clothes? Idols and the statues. The art of weaving on the clothes of men, women and children is very famous from ancient time. Students, we saw in the last paragraph also, since ancient time India was well known. And so this art of weaving or designing and all is known from ancient time. This art of embroidery was seen on the clothes of men, women and children in Sindh, Savrashtra and Kutch region at the time of the Indus civilization. At the time of the Indus civilization and students which are the places Sindh, Savrashtra and Kutch. Similarly, Kashmiri that is Kasab work of Kashmir is also well known. We are talking about art of embroidery and students we are talking about the excavation sites that is Harappa and Mohenjadaro. And where is that embroidery you get to see? On the statues and the idols. The, which regions are famous students for this work embroidery art? Saint Saurashtra and Kutch region. And which era students? In the civilization. In the civilization is one of the oldest civilization. Sindhu Valley Civilization. Similarly, Kashmir, the Kasap work of Kashmir also is well known. Apart from embroidery, apart from embroidery, Bandani of Jamnagar, Jetpur, Bhoj and Mandvi of Gujarat are very popular. Underline that. Bandani of Jamnagar, Jetpur, Bhoj and Mandvi of Gujarat. Students, these are the places famous in Gujarat. Earlier in the last paragraph, we saw that. Previous paragraph we saw the Bandhani of Rajasthan. But besides Rajasthan, we are saying in Gujarat, Jamnagar, Jetpur and Bhujo, Bhujan Mandvi. They are famous places in Gujarat for Bandhani. The traditional style of Bandhani with all its luster and due to the beautiful designs of elephant, puppet, dice and pitcher is very popular today. Students, the traditional style of Bandhani Bandhani is a unique style. Every person, every woman will like to have at least one dress or sari of Bandhani. It is also attraction for women to have that type something that is of our Gujarat. Okay? And students, Bandhani with all its luster, this traditional style, uh, style. Okay? With beautiful designs of elephant, puppet, dice and pitcher is very popular today. Cottage industry was taken over by the women of Kutch. Let's turn the page, students. Turn the page, students. Now, we saw that the cottage industry was taken over by the women of Kutch and Saurashtra region of Gujarat. Cottage industry, which I explained you already, the product that is made at home, okay, home-based industries. The traditional art of embroidery, under the students, torans, torans, surely you know what is it? Then a chakada, that is a wall piece, pillow cover, bed sheets, shark, todalia, clothes like kedia is well known even today. These names which I have read, students, you know these names better than me because these are, some of them are like kedia and all which you call in your language Gujarati which you wear it during the time of Navratri and all. Embroidery work is also carried out on quilts and shawls with different designs. Embroidery work which is done on the shawls and the quilt. Quilt you know like a blanket it is but not a blanket which are made at home. Uh, earlier the old women and all these to prepare at home to cover themselves, to protect themselves in winter with different designs. Embroidery work of Jat community, underline that, of Bani area of Kutch is unique in itself. Is unique in itself. Shouldn't we are here. I know you may not be able to see it well, but I suppose we have the textbook. Now, students, uh, I have told you to underline the traditional art of embroidery, toran, chakada, pillow cover, bed sheets. These are the things on which this art has been done, embroidery has been done and it is carried out on quilt and the shawls with different designs. But students, underline the word Jat. Embroidery work of Jat community of Bani area of Kutch is unique in itself. Something unique and therefore the Kutchi shawls are not very famous. 
there's a lot of demand for the kerchief shawls and the quilts and all in the market now students after finishing the art of embroidery i would just like to go to the leather industry students this is this question is asked almost every year in the exam either in your prelims or in the first semester or uh, board exams so i want you to learn this is two marks question i want you to learn this question leather leather industry which is very easy students which is very easy you have to remember the leather things that you use so let's see what is it about skin of dead animals was used for various purposes in ancient india skin of dead animals students after the death of animal its skin was processed in a traditional manner it was in order to prepare the things and all the dead animal skin students dead animal skin you will see later on in geography also why hunting was banned and all because this was one of the reason for the uh, sake of leather they used to kill the animals and the once animals are dead their skin was used and it was processed and then the leather was used for the different things leather was prominently used for making now you have to underline this word students masak masak is a leather bag for fetching water and kos kos is also a type of bag which is used in the field and all to water the farms drum dholak tabla tabla musical instruments and the bellows used by blacksmiths and various types of footwear leather belt leather belts to tie animals etc leather was used to prepare shield which was used during wars students leather was used also used to prepare shield which was used during wars so students you saw in the first paragraph uh, leather was made out of dead animals it was processed that was the second point of your answer it was processed after the death of the animal in a traditional manner third thing is that it was used for making the different things that is a uh, masa drum dholak tabla whatever it is okay students footwear your belts now you will also write leather industry had a prominent place in ancient time well knitted mojri of rajasthan shows leather knitted purses belts and things made out of leather for horse and camel like saj palan lagam and we were very much in use students first three to four points already we discussed your next point will be leather industry has a prominent place important place in ancient india and well knitted mojri of rajasthan see students rajasthan earlier we saw for famous in bandhani besides gujarat also the mojri of rajasthan shows leather knitted purses you know the craze for leather you like to have the leather jackets and all purses belts and other things made out of leather for horse and camel like saj palan lagam and we were very much in use so student two marks question about leather i suppose you understood what you have to write you have to write whenever you are making the answers you are writing the answers you have to make six points which we have been teaching you from uh, nine standards so here also you have to make six to seven points for two marks question is answer is very easy so students we are going to stop over here and tomorrow i will begin with the diamond work please students whatever homework i am going to send do the homework at home i'll be sending you three to four questions and so you have to do it